Yo, what's up? I'm Frank Bello from Anthrax, and you're watching Jam Magazine Online. Turn it off! Hey guys, this is Mike DeQuinzio here with the legendary Frank Bellow of Anthrax, legendary. one of my all-time favorite bands. I'm not just kissing your ass on that. I mean, a little bit, but not completely. Felt a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. So we're here on the Kill Thrax tour in a Dallas stop. The yeah. tour's been going on for about three weeks now. Yeah. First of all, where's Charlie? What happened? Well, that carpal tunnel, you guys know, all know this at this point. It's been well documented. He's got, he had surgery on his hand for the carpal tunnel mm -hmm. on his wrist. And he can only play a certain amount of time on, per tour. So there's certain shows he can make, and then he, I've seen it. It goes dead. It, it's just he loses the grip, and that's not an excuse or anything. It is what it is. And uh, so John Deddy plays, comes in when he when he needs a break, and he come, and comes back in when he can. Okay. So that's uh, we have to play as 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 we can here. We don't want to cancel tours, that's for sure. So. No, we don't want you to. Yeah, that's the <laughs> idea. Right. So how's the tour been going otherwise? Great. This is um, a fun tour just because. Everybody gets along so well. The crews help each other. The bands, have been, we've been friends forever with Kill Switch. So they're great, great guys. Joey actually goes out and sings a song with them. He did it again last night. Holy Diver. It's I a deal. That, yeah. Awesome. It's just, they do a great, it's fun. It's, yeah. you know, the whole package is really cool. Devil West Prada, you know, Code Orange. Um, it's a, just a really cool package. Yeah. Uh, we also had, in the beginning of the tour, we had Josta on. Really? And Jamie, uh, you know, love all that stuff. So, um, and it's fun because it, I think it gives people value. You know, it, it's, yeah. look, let's face it, there's a lot of bands out there touring. You want to give people value for their money, and I, I think, you know, this is a cool show just to see. Well, you're covering like three generations of, of metal fans here yeah. with this bill, which is pretty cool. And on the yeah. surface, it seemed like an odd pairing with you and Killswitch. Yeah. But honestly, really, when you look deeper, it's not because you guys are like this lighthearted presence on stage, like just having a blast. Like Adam yeah. D's a nut. Yeah. So are you. I love him. Yeah. He's awesome. Yeah. Adam, it makes me smile all the time. He's a great guitar player, too. Oh, he really it's is. awesome. Tight as hell. The whole band's great. So uh, you already said you already knew them. So yeah. how, how's the reception from, like, say, newer metal fans? Like the Killswitch crowd is a little newer than, say, the Anthrax yeah. crowd. And I saw you with Lamb of God, which is kind of the same situation. But mm -hmm. then you tour with Slayer, and you get with the old schools again. Are you converting fans, or is it pretty that's, much... That's the whole point. I mean, my, I'm proud to say this. That we just about play in front of every crowd. I'm not, we don't really worry about any crowd to mm -hmm. play in front of. We want to just give it our all, and hopefully they'll like us at the end of the day. That's all you can do as a musician, as a, as a band member, and, and just give it your all, and let them know that you're leaving it all on the stage, right? And, and hopefully they'll come back. Look, since this big four thing we did way back when, it's been awesome for us. Metallica were great enough to bring us all out. And, and from that, I think a lot of younger fans also saw Anthrax. Mm -hmm. that, that maybe heard of Anthrax, but never really saw them. And they got to see them on that big four. And so we've been seeing, even in our own shows before this thing, a lot of younger people, along with our crowd too. I mean, it just, it just so happens that there's a, there's a nice bigger crowd showing up now. Right. Uh, and a great mix of older and uh, younger and older. It doesn't matter. Uh, but you see that in our crowd, which is really fun to watch. And uh, there's, there's an energy you can't, you can't describe because it's a lot of fun to watch. I gotta right. tell you that. So with this, I love the fact that we can get a, if it's a kill switch person that has never seen Anthrax and gets to see him, and maybe we'll give it a chance to buy a record or, or, or a song over iTunes, then we've done our job. That's the whole idea behind this. And the same thing for Killswitch. Maybe some, uh, some Anthrax fans have never heard of Killswitch or have you heard of it and not give it a chance. Give it, open your ears. I think it's, you know, I love opening my ears to di different yeah. music. I think it's important. So that's what this tour is about. I think it's cool. Speaking of Big Four, of the four bands that came out with albums in the what, last year and a half, yeah. this one's the best. Wow. I really wow. mean Thanks, that. Man. This Thanks, is man. by wow. a mile. 
Very cool. For All Kings is an excellent album. And I want to talk about uh, John Donay. Is that how you say his name? Yeah, Donay. Yeah, you hit Donay. it right. Good. Uh, I'm a huge Shadows Fall fan. So. Yeah, he's awesome. <laughs> he's, uh, and they're, they're obviously good friends of ours too, but um, I could say this right off the bat. The, the best thing I could say about John, number one, we all know about how great of a guitar player because yeah. he is. Uh, he's my drinking buddy. Is that right? <laughs> yeah, he's my More drinking dance. buddy. So he, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's a good promo right, right there. We'll get to that, we'll get to that later. Yeah. But uh, John is a great addition to Anthrax because it's seamless. Yeah. It's um, from within, the, you know, you have to hang and stuff like that. Yeah. There's no, there's no, like he's always been here. Yeah. It's, it's very strange that, because we've been friends, but it's, it's a lock. It's, you don't have to think about anything. It's just, it's just fun. And we have a good time. Yeah. You know? And I've seen you quite a few times since he's joined the band. And I have to say about him specifically that uh, he's really, I don't want to say come out of his shell, but he looks a lot more relaxed and oh, yeah. settled into his role now. Because yeah. the first few times he was kind of just kind of stiff yeah. of things. And now he's and well, I well with you guys. So I completely, great. don't you understand? Because I, I, I understand that now. Because I, I said, man, imagine coming into this band. It's been around forever, right? Yeah. Been 30 years and he's coming into this band. You've seen him. He's a fan and all that stuff. And he has to play the leads to the T. Because everybody's yeah. expecting those leads on, on, on the songs that he's heard, uh, that they've heard. And it's a lot of pressure. And he kills and, it. And he kills it, John. Every night. He kills it every night. I'm not, he better pay me for this. This bad. He, <laughs> he owes me a beer. But um, I, I think he just, it's seamless. And now he's very comfortable on the stage. We all, all have our thing, and he's a great addition to the show, too. Yeah. So it's a really good thing what's going on with, with the nucleus of anthrax yeah. right now. My best friend and I were talking about this the other day, and we kind of liken him to Richie Faulkner and Judas Priest because yeah, he's kind of the young, great. the young gun that's reinvigorating yeah. the rest of the band. Absolutely. Yeah. That way. And Richie's great. For, for Priest too, I, he's a, I knew Richie before Priest, and he's just always been a great guitar player, always yeah. and good dude. Oh yeah, and yeah. they're sounding better than ever too. Absolutely. Love it. So speaking of For All Kings, you got a seven-inch box set that's out right now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the first thing that caught me about this is I saw the promo for it. The artwork is amazing, and it has been for quite a while. The worship music artwork was yeah. great and everything. Who's the artist? Well, I, got, I have to give Charlie Benanti credit for all this because mm. Charlie, I mean, I grew up with Charlie watching how great of an artist. You think he's a great drummer, you should see his artwork. Yeah. The guy is incredible. If you see the things he can just come out of his mind, uh, I'm talking to the audience now, if, they get, if you see what comes out of his mind, he's got a great imagination. He's always had this because we grew up together. Mm. So. I was always fascinated. He could just take a blank piece of paper and something out of his mind, he could make this beautiful piece of art. And I mean that, like beautiful piece of art. Like, you, it's not scratch. It's wow. Yeah. It's the wow factor. So he does the artwork with Anthrax. So, and you know what? That's in capable, well-capable hands and yeah. because it's always great. Yeah. And we never have to worry about it. I mean, even the artwork with the T-shirts. Uh, we also have our friend Steve Thompson helping us with that. Um, is, is the, we're really good in that department, so we, the rest of us can worry about the other stuff, which is right. kind of great. So it all works, you know. Yeah, and since the anthem EP, I, I love the artwork for like oh, I don't call it parody, but you know the, the whatever the yeah. imitation, whatever. Well, it's a compliment to them. Compl it's yeah, a really exactly. it's a compliment to all the bands that we're big fans of. And I, you know what? I still I, I don't have it. I think I have one of those shirts. I think I have the Rush shirt. Oh, really? You know, there's a lot of those cool shirts. Yeah. I never got them. I'm in the damn band. <laughs> no, for God's sake. They'll be under your Christmas tree yeah. this year. Well, there you go. But speaking of that, you have the cover of uh, Kansas's Carry On this yeah, time man. around. I love the cover. Thank you. Oh, the cover song and the cover art. Um, you guys have covered so many songs that yeah. people, and you do them so well that people forget two of your biggest hits are actually covers. Yeah, Because I absolutely. just have to remember my, remind myself. Have you ever worked on a cover that you just had to abandon because it wasn't coming together the way you hoped? No, this, this, you know, believe it or not, this, this covers that because you got to realize when covers, we do covers in the studio. It's literally Scott, Charlie, and myself just say, let's just jam. Mm. It's like that. Let's record it, and we just record it. And then Joey will do the vocals later on. Sometimes we don't get time to do the vocals and things were going on tour and all that stuff. But there's things that are left that we still haven't finished mm -hmm. that will later on. But think about it, all the stuff we've ever, ever done is all the stuff we're fans of that made us right. kiss, all the cheap trick, all that great stuff. It's always been like this Kansas thing. I have to say this now. All these radio stations, knock wood, are playing this song because they think it's a great cover. It and is. And it's, it's stuff... Stations that would have never gave Anthrax, you know, the metal stuff, a mm. chance, heard this cover and they're really liking it to the point where we're playing acoustic stuff and learning it like acoustically where we might have to do it on radio stations, which is great. Mm. It's, it's, just, it's another extension and it's really it's a tribute, tip your hat, thank you, really, to these bands, these great bands that we want people to hear. Right. You know, that maybe didn't, get, everybody's heard Carry On, but maybe the younger generation hasn't heard that, right? So right. get cool. it out there. 
Well, what about Vice of the People? It's a bonus track that. Yeah, so that's one of the. Song. It didn't make the record. It didn't because we. <laughs> this is the, you can't put too many songs on the record. That's the yeah. bottom line. But that would have made the record. But you know, we all um, at the end of the recording process and the mixing and all that stuff. You listen. How does it fit in the record, right? If you, uh, you know the record, you can't really put that anywhere. Uh, you could have forced it in, but yeah. it didn't really. The, the, the record's always been like we, we say it's like a roller coaster. It brings you on a ride and it leaves you on this high. That's what we want. And um, that was just one extra song that was good, but it just you know every, we have usually a one or two songs usually after every record, and then we put out something special like this. Left overture. It's and people like it, <laughs> so that's that's important. It's yeah. Something special for the fans. Cool. Well, you also have a live DVD coming out, and you just had the Chile on Hell, yeah. or Chile on Hell. Chile, Chile. How is this one different than that? Well, Glasgow, right, you know, uh, you know, and we're still getting it together, because I know that was one of the sickest crowds Anthrax has ever had, and they go for it there. Crazy, crazy. I'm always worried about having cameramen on, on stage with Anthrax, because we're yeah. pretty lively and stuff, and usually, you, you know, you get a chipped tooth or something because you bump into a camera <laughs> or something. Uh, but that really went off well. Nobody got in the way or anything. It was a great show. The, the anticipation was there. Uh, we're still seeing, uh, in fact, I have to do that today. We're still seeing like shots of that what we're missing and stuff. So we're putting it together. I'm very excited about that because I think it's a, a place that you haven't seen anthrax with. Uh, you see Chile on Hell. There's another extension of it. I think it's, it's a really, the stuff I've seen so far. Man. Well, good. Good I'm stuff. To seeing it. Energy. Energy. Good. Well, the last one I love, too. Um, you also have something else out that is unique. And like I said before, the War Dance beer. Yeah, My man. first question about this one was Rhea of Nicky Fesson taken? <laughs> yeah, right. I know. Rhea could have been. <laughs> but you know what? All that, the beer stuff, everybody's coming out with the beer, right? right. Kill yeah. Switch is doing it now. Kill Switch is awesome. And I'm all, hey, look, I'm all for equal time. Let's all try everybody's <laughs> beer. We're all good. In fact, uh, Jesse was trying our beer the other day from Kill Switch. He loved it, which is awesome. Yeah. So, uh, I'm, all good. I'm, I'm more than willing to try their beer. So would it be the Kilbrax <coughs> cake party? Or? We could. We've had, we had one, Jesse put together one, uh, one outside. We had a great enclosed parking lot. We had a barbecue party, people outside after the shows. Mm -hmm. It was just a fun vibe. That's what kind of vibe this is on this tour. Mm -hmm. It's a fun hangout vibe. There's no, no nonsense. Our crews, uh, all of our crews are helping each other really to, to get the show going. It's, it's a really cool uh, just mellow vibe. Well, where can you get the beer? Oh, now that's the problem. It's not a problem, but we're getting it. It's slow. Mm -hmm. It's slow to get into the people. You have to ask if you could your local bars. Believe it or not, if you ask for the Anthrax or Dance beer, you can get it. But they just have to ask for it. We because really? there's a lot of money in, in processing and in, in, in the permits and all that stuff. Right. And licensing. So we're finding that that's the only thing. But we are working on it, and it will be out everywhere. Okay. Cool. We gotta wrap it up here pretty I quick. Took, but I forgot, you guys thing. can't see, you guys can't see. Yeah. Two minutes, you go through that. <laughs> well, I'm glad we have enough time to cover this because what do you I, got? I have to cover this. I read this pretty recently and it, I saw that uh, the album of your catalog that you treat like the band Skank, like you've all done it, but you're not proud of it. Yeah. State Euphoria is getting a 30th anniversary reissue. Yeah, isn't that crazy? It, it is. So my first question is why? Because you guys talk down about it so much. It's really not talking down. I'm proud of everything we've done. I just, I think everybody in the band feels it. Those were the days of record record the, write the record record the record go on tour and these were it was it was rough you couldn't digest what you had yeah i think with that specific record i feel bad that we didn't have the time to just really digest it and have a little i think all of us feel like that just a little more time because we were due on this i forgot what tour it was if it was ozzy i'm not sure it was a big tour we needed to be on and the studio time just wasn't what it was right. what it should have been uh just for digesting and you know because we, when we do records now just so you everybody knows we get the songs, we digest them. I listen to it in my car. We all we drive around, make sure we're fans. It's got to, it's got to meet that fire in your belly. Yeah. I just wish we had more time for the songs. Right. I, I think they're really good songs, but I think just some of the songs we could have crafted a little bit. Some things you hear, I mean, we should have did that there. Nothing bad, nothing yeah. negative. Just you wanted a little bit more time. Well, that album, honestly, was my gateway to metal in general. Well, great. So it I, worked for you. That's yeah, good. I love it dearly. That's so what matters. Every time you, well, I'll, I'll say, every time Scott Ian talks badly about it, I die a little mm. inside. Just a little bit. See, but, I, uh, I have, this is one thing I, 
I don't think he wants to uh, talk badly about it. I think it's the same thing that I feel. It's mm -hmm. we we were used to having the time, the time of really digesting and just really nitpicking. Oh no, that it doesn't get that. Fuck, we got to pull that out. That's got to come right. back in. That is the time that's really essential to w what we do. And um, so when I, I think you've, you may have heard him talk a little negative about it. Just it's that. It's I think I just a little bit more time. Well, given that that was my gateway, I really hope that For All Kings is being that gateway for another kid this, I, this time yeah, around. I hope so too, man. You deserve the new fans and the, the, the legendary status. Yeah. I don't, you know, Thank I don't you. say it lightly. Yeah, well, uh, I appreciate that. We're, you know, we're seeing that on this tour. And in fact, it's fun just watching the people sing the new songs too, yeah. which is really, you have I Am The Law and then you have, you know, uh, a newer song. Zero you Tolerance, know, maybe? You know. No, we didn't Damn. put that in the set. I knew you were trying to pull that one out. But, um, but like, it was the best closer yeah. since dis uh, Discharge. Oh my yeah. God. There's so many songs that you think about. What yeah. do you put in the catalog but um hey, you gotta take uh, some out it's, it's in. tough so eventually i mean from what i hear we're, we're booking more shows so yeah um well i'll be there yeah thanks man dude thank you for your time i really right, appreciate it thanks for the great questions thanks for watching